Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this day, May the 3rd, 1865, Samuel Swain wrote in his diary that Fort McPherson was nearing completion. It is unclear exactly why U.S. forces felt the need to construct a major military fortification in a town which had no strategic or military importance. Shortly after their occupation of Natchez on July the 13th, However, commanding officers of the Union Army authorized construction of Fort McPherson in the northern suburbs of the city. Peter Conover Haynes, a recent graduate of West Point, was chosen to design the fort, but Samuel Swain directed most of the actual construction. Swain came to Natchez as a member of the 12th Wisconsin Infantry, although he would later accept a commission in the 58th U.S. Colored Troops. Today, his papers in the Wisconsin Historical Society provide an almost daily record of the work on Fort McPherson, a structure that was described as more entrenched earthwork than actual fortification. Swain drew these detailed maps illustrating the various batteries that were named for prominent Union officers or members of the Engineering Corps. A sketch of each battery shows the placement of the various artillery pieces, such as pendle and field guns, siege howitzers, and coherne mortars. Swain predicted the federal authorities would occupy Fort McPherson for a long time after the war simply to preserve order until civil authority got under full sway. Yet shortly after its completion, Swain received orders to dismantle Fort McPherson. Today, very little exists of the Civil War fortification that briefly dominated the landscape of occupied Natchez. Hello, I'm Kathy Landner Swafford, and I'm proud to be a native Natchezian. This has been your Natchez History Minute.